Well, the CAE and the entire simulation is fundamental uh, for our training, the entirety of our training purposes, because it encompasses the beginning of a student's training phase, learning how to interact with a new system, and it also extends all the way to then later on being a frontline air crew member for the uh, spectrum of tactical missions and uh, preparation for actual missions when, uh, when on deployment. When a new aircraft is coming in, as is happening with the NH-90, you cannot start working on something as new as the NH-90 without a simulator to accompany the training, especially in this case where this aircraft that we will be receiving is something that's not anywhere on the market as yet. So the simulator again will play a key role in training our crews to use the NH-90 to the best extent possible. In the beginning we'll see uh, a greater degree of reliance on the simulator when we have it um, and then slowly then diminishing over time uh, when we've experienced all that there is to experience in the simulator and having learned how those lessons are then applied in the real aircraft later on.